I don't know what kind of health plans you guys have out here, but uh, my health plan requires me to go to a gynecologist in New York City in Chinatown. You guys, in Chinatown, you have a frame of reference at all? My hand to God, that gynecologist's office in Chinatown is over a fish market. Two weeks, 14 shows, 5,000 miles. Watch as these four comedians who come from totally different worlds embark on the same hellacious tour to see how their material plays in the heartland of America. Some performers go through hell to get famous, but comedians, they suffer through tours like this. And that's why they call them Hell Gigs. Motherfucker! If you ever wondered what life is like slogging it out in the trenches of stand-up comedy, well, it isn't pretty. Oh, people, very funny if you were listening. Very funny. Thank you for the four applause. A Hell Gig is like a rite of passage. Hell kick is where everything is hellish. For all we know, the next place we land could be a crack house. This is where we're living. On a hell gig, there's no way these girls can know if they're walking into a night of glory. That was surreal. Or disaster. Apparently, it is not cool to walk into a bodega, those little Spanish grocery stores, and go, que pasa, y'all? I sucked really bad. It's like some sexy porno sneeze thing. It was a different breed of people. And the only reason they're there watching you do comedy is because there was a fire at the bowling alley. Hell gigs are how unknown comedians earn their stripes. There were some instances where I was frightened. Did I really just like bring the population of black people up to like five in Wenatchee? One, three. <laughs> Is that three too many? We're not as bad as that bar up the street. And apparently, this is how they're also risking their lives. It was the scariest place I've ever been. It's like a race. You guys have more teeth than the entire place put together. The place we were performing in was also the scene of a murder three weeks prior. I already drank a fifth today, so I'm good. <laughs> Betsy's on stage, and the people are heckling. Are you mentally retarded or an asshole? Guy finally gets removed from the room. Hello. Hello. Hold on. I can't see phone And come to find out this guy's in a gang. Welcome to View. Montana. Welcome to View, Montana. Exactly. This work looks seriously hard on the soul. You are so funny. I remember when you were here before, and I'm really I was never here before drinking because we thought we need to numb this somehow so we can get a good night's sleep. I have like eight shots today. <laughs> we're moving into a juvie hall. What I like though is that we're not on the ground floor. Yeah. So somebody has to come up the stairs to murder us. The bed, couldn't wait to dive into it. I've always wanted to be a mom and I'm pretty confident that there was enough semen on that comforter to impregnate me. Ooh. Lost, and I'm sort of running a red light. But what were we on that we just got? 97. On? It's four minutes to showtime. Isn't it crazy, like a bunch of women together, like who are actually getting along? Because there's this like horrible, like you know, stereotype out there that women are bitchy and we're catty and we're vicious, and that's not true. Could you not sing that song? You set the order of the lineup. You put me in the hardest spot possible. I can't believe you did this. How can they only get 200? It's crazy. You can't just because you look at my personality go, it was you, it was you, it was you. She was an emotional time bomb. OK, I'm, I'm not playing this game. Right before I'm going to close the show, she pulls me aside, screams at me that the other cast members think I'm crazy. So you would rather Becky leave the tour? This is not going to do it. It's, it's not, not real. real. I'm not going to do it. Becky okay. took it. Way too far. Like, that girl has my control issues to the tenth power. Don't ever do it again. Say okay, so I'm this sorry. Is for having never do my mother. We're never gonna be friends again after this, huh? It's not good. This tour isn't only hell on their relationships with each other. I'm in a relationship, and uh, it's a serious relationship. Let me ask you, why did you break up? 
If you think that a kiss is on the lips, come Karen's just having fun that first night. Is there anything wrong? I don't kiss you. Okay, well, you're too. You know what? This is a guy who, honestly, I swear to God, I think I can marry. Which, again, poses the question, so why did you kiss somebody else? Because I'm not Somebody else yet. is. All right, somebody else says. You know what upsets me more than anything? Is that, um, that I may have made you upset. And that you were the last person in the world that I would ever want to hurt. The reason you can is because it means something to me. Telling the boyfriend to me was just retardedly naive. I love you so much. It's a completely other thing to perform in a hellhole where the comics are getting a door deal and tickets are three bucks a pop. But Have you ever heard of a three dollar comedian? No, you've heard of a three dollar hooker. We've got 40 bucks left. I struggle so much with this financially. We're making like five cents a piece to do this show in the middle of nowhere. These two guys were slamming their boots on the stage. <laughs> you must be Chad. <laughs> That's just twenty dollars in my pocket. Twenty dollars to my name. You think you understand how really broke I am? For just four cents a day, you could keep these comedians alive. <laughs> you sit behind your desk, count every penny you own. I feel like a failure. Certain people are like, "Why are you thirty-four years of age and your phone gets shut off?" And even though there are some devastating lows. Thank God there are some incredible highs. The best way to end the tour, everybody had a great set. And I would call him Hitler's wet dream. <laughs> you don't get much in your wallet, but it feeds, it feeds your soul a little bit. <laughs> no, she loves me. You know what she said to her? She goes, do you think we get to be with each other the whole trip? <laughs> Taking comedy. I'm the fucking taste off. Seriously.